think where are we? Hey, we're there. The camera's right there. Sorry. I found it. It's the thing with the light. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, so we haven't done a video in a long time. We haven't. We've had a lot of stuff going on and happening. And one of the things that we've done lately is, well, Tammy had gotten kind of hooked into this um, low content publishing yep. stuff. And uh, we tried our hands at a couple things and haven't found a thing yet. But while she was doing that, I was looking for a project to do. And so um, I thought it would be cool to put out some word search puzzles. But it was a long process. We I, I we decided we were going to do a biblical-based word search. Yeah. So we were going to start with the book of Proverbs. And, and rather than like randomly pick words from the book of Proverbs, we thought, why don't we just... Be different. Put the the Bible on the page, and then hide some of those words. Yeah. <laughs> so I wrote a program to go through the Bible and pull out words that were searchable, and then we used those word lists to build uh, word search puzzles using some public domain websites. And then I would send them to Tammy, and she would take them and format them into a PDF. And then she would, anyway, this yeah, took the a, copy and paste of the the verse and then underlining any words that were longer than four letters was where we were at that point and trying to get them to line up appropriately page first page first page and right. it was taking a really long yeah, time it took us i mean working just basically nights and weekends yeah. and not not long at nights because we got the dog so we'd have like an hour maybe in an evening when we were yeah working on stuff after 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 there are day jobs. And um, so it probably took us two weeks or so to do Proverbs, well, maybe three. So you got your word searches done fast. I never even completed all of the pages for Proverbs. Um, we were finding it was going over the, the page length, and so we were having to massage the the font type and the font size and so much manipulation to well, be able to... That was all before. That was all after. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay. I didn't know what she was doing. I just knew she was taking a long time, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it was. It was taking it a really taking long, a long time. time. It was very discouraging. So, and then to, to, on top of that, as we were putting it together, I thought, wow, this is this is a really great idea. Yeah. Because it was, really again, it was different. Because so many word searches use a word bank. Yeah. They don't use text yeah. as your list. Yeah, and you know, word searches just kind of lend themselves, depending on how you do them, they lend themselves to meditation on scripture, too. Because, you know, you, you look at them, you're like, in the beginning. Okay, beginning. I got to find the word beginning. So you spend time looking in the grid for the word, and all the time you're, you know, you're thinking about the, the word. And it's, in the beginning. In yeah. The beginning. So it's, it seemed like it was just, could be a great tool. And I, and I told Tam, I said, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to put this up. And it's, it's either going to fail miserably, which it's still might, or it's going to be so great. People are going to love this as an idea. And somebody somewhere with more time, more money, and more resources is going to do the rest of the Bible. And we didn't want to lose out on the opportunity of being able to do it in completion. Right. If we were going to do one, we wanted to do all. But there are 66 books in the Bible. And the way we were going... We were going to take 66 years. It was, <laughs> or we would be 66. We'll go there. Something like that. It was, it was going to take too long. So we decided, well, you know, why don't, why don't I... I mean, I married a computer programmer. <laughs> and ultimately, creating a word search is just a, it's just, it's a multidimensional array problem. So I thought, well, let's just write, we'll write a program to generate the word search grids. So I don't have to, I don't have to keep copying and pasting word lists into mm -hmm. websites and then downloading PDFs. And the whole thing was, uh, uh, it was unsustainable to do for long. So I started doing doing that and I got it to the point where I could generate these grids and it was great and it would randomly put you know it would do everything it needed to do um and then i started handing them off to tammy and so she started doing the same thing creating pdfs of them copying pasting arranging and i'm going you there know there has this, to be something better than this, this is kind of stupid because i've got this program i can just make this program spit out a pdf 
with the verse w with the verses and the words, words underlined, underlined and the word and uh, and the grids a heading and it's all done yeah and so we we worked on that for a little while to got it to the point where we were happy with it this is turning into a much longer story than, <laughs> than well, I well all total it probably you finally went from the concept of building your own program to do it to done within two weeks yeah yes once we generate these word searches we subject each and every one of them looking in all uh, eight down, left right all, over all eight directions forward backward we check for over over 1500 different bad words so all of this to say we were able to get from having proverbs done after three weeks to three weeks or four weeks later having manuscripts ready to go to a publisher in in another three weeks yeah or four weeks yeah uh, for 34 volumes yes so yeah because some of the books are very small like one one book of the bible one of the 66 books ended up having four puzzles right. it was a Obadiah very very short third john yeah or... it was very very short so some of them are combined combining books into one volume however it will be the complete text of that book or of all the books yeah. well, of all the books yes so, but it's so it's not just a an excerpt from a book of the bible it will contain every word from the text of the king james bible throughout the 34 volumes so anyway, why are we doing this video today? Well, we're doing this video today because we have gotten our first copies of physical books. Now, today's... This is not all 34. Today's Thursday. Thursday. We sent the manuscripts off to Amazon for these on Sunday. Sunday. This Sunday. Like six days ago, five days ago. Yeah. Two days ago on Tuesday, it took them a while to get them all approved and ready to go. Tuesday, they were available for purchase. So Tuesday, we bought them. We did. And it's today's Thursday, and we have them. So from sending the manuscript off on Sunday. On the 22nd. The 22nd to buying on the 24th to having, having printed them. bound copies of the book in our hands. In our hands. On the 26th. Yeah. We thought um, we would open them here so that you could see. So now this is our have, first time. We've not seen. Yeah, we've not seen them. We have never done anything with Amazon printing before. Now, it's possible that books we've gotten from Amazon are published this way, but we have never done this ourselves. Right. Um, all of the covers of the books I designed, and each of them are, throughout the volume, you're going to see a, a continuous idea of them. They're broken into six different groupings. Yeah. So, um, so there's six different and the colors. Color, right. But everything within like the gospels, they're all the same color. Well, so green. like yeah, so we got we bought three volumes and we bought three different colors. Don't open them yet. I was just getting it broken. So the um yeah so we we have like the history books in the old testament are purple. Purple. The I wonder where that color came from. Poetry books in the Old Testament are yellow. Yellow. That would be well, poetry and... Job, Psalms, Proverbs. And Psalms is two volumes. Yeah. Psalms is two volumes. That was a that would that would have been over 750 pages. Pages, yeah. That was a lot. Um, and then Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, and Lamentations. We right, pulled up into right. that. And then we That's used, one volume. Right. And then we did red for the prophets, mm -hmm. Isaiah, Jeremiah, and then the 12... Ezekiel. Minors. And then the 12 minor prophets. Yeah, and the 12 minor prophets are all That's one volume. That's just one volume, yeah. Because they there were a number of small ones in there. Yeah, and then we did green for the gospels, uh, gospels and we did, and then orange for orange is for acts. I think and, acts went into the gospels. So too. I thought so too. Yeah. Uh, Romans, so that's like history. The so letters. It's the history. The history in the New Testament: Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, mm -hmm. and then the epistles. So we've got Romans and First and Second Corinthians in a volume, and then the rest of the Galatians, Pauline the book. epistles. Mm -hmm. Those are all orange, mm -hmm. and then. Blue for first and second Peter, first, second, and third John, James, Hebrews, Jude, and not in this order. <laughs> yeah, we we kind of they're 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 both blue, but we've got two blue volumes. Yeah. Um, and we just tried to maximize the amount of things. So yeah. they're they're not in complete order, but you know the Bible wasn't written in chronological order either. So the Bible was absolutely written in chronological order. Couldn't have been written any other way. In but you know words, what I mean. It's I not. It he really threw me. It's not presented to us in a chronological order. Right. You don't start at Genesis and end in Revelation and go through 
history one moment by one moment. No, I know. It's, I was being silly. I'm like, oh. So how should we do this? Should we, like, take a book, close our eyes, and then open them at sure. the same time or something? So, right. okay, you give me, yeah, you give me a book. Well, my eyes are closed, too. All right, so people okay. tell us what color so it is. So first impression. Well, first it's, impression is actually pretty good, actually. But it's cut. Everything's cut evenly. I'm going to want to. I'm going to want to see. I know. Me too. No, I want to hold it. I oh. just handed it straight to you. We'll Where get are one you? for you. Oh. All right. Silly. Oh, wow. Okay. So the cover's really. I think just I'm just your checking hands the, off my book. I'm checking to see size wise. How we These are okay. eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. And I'm holding it upside down or something. I'm sorry. It smells um, like a book. I know, right? It does. And it's just a thick sort of a cardstock cover. Yeah, the cover I like. Paper it's supposed is, to be matte. Paper is very smooth. It feels matte. Yeah, very smooth paper. It's like a typical book. It's just thick. Okay, Go you ready? Figure. Ready. You're right, three, count it down. Two, two, one. Go. Oh, I'm upside down and backwards. I am not. Wow. So this is our green. You um, may not be able to tell it's green. This is our gospel grouping. And this is the book of Job. Oh, I'm covering mine. What am I? We're in John for this one. So as you can see, they all have a very similar um, design on the front, well, yeah, just the different by colors. And on the front page, you can see that there is um, wow. an example of the first puzzle. And then also you can see what the, the answer keys would look like. But you can immediately see how the book is going to be laid out for you. And again, it is a verse by verse word search using the text from the King James. This is really nice. So this is what the inside looks like. I just take my glasses off. So you've got. Uh, wow. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm really. I'm really pleased. I'm so pleased with this. I'm really glad we did this. And then the back has the answer keys for each puzzle. Oops. Let me see the other one. All right, so I like the covers. I do too. This is a big one. Oh, that's, that's, that's Genesis. Genesis. So this is the entire book of Genesis. Uh, so it's 50 chapters, 551 pages in the book. This is one of the bigger books that we've got. You can yeah. see it's it's kind of a massive. Oh, I forgot to look at the spine. No, those turned out really nicely. They turned out really nicely. Wow, I can't believe these are ours. We did that. We, did. So we can even do these specialized for people. Like if you wanted a Genesis edition and if you wanted names like spread throughout, like your name or your children's names or special things about you, we can sneak those oh, into yeah. the puzzle. I, yeah, that's, make that's it a, uh, a your own personalized edition. Looking nice together on the shelf. Now we are also working on putting together hardcover copies. These are all paperback because um, we hadn't really thought about doing hardcovers. Um, but I think we're going to offer that as just an alternative because, you know, when all when it all is said and done, these are copies of the Bible, yeah. and some people might want to um, store it as such. Um, so the the idea of this is these. These are perfect for kids of all ages. Um, they are rather difficult. I mean, the, the, there are some long words. There are some long words, and I think each puzzle has at least twenty-five words in it. Yeah, um, it's a twenty by twenty. It's a grid twenty by twenty grid on yeah. every page. And again, there's just, it's a standard distribution of letters, so you so it's it, it they're a little harder to find in there because everything looks like a word. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So they're tricky, but, but we do have the potential of being able to make. An easy edition um, mm -hmm. or a medium edition. And again, we can make them personalized. So as your kids are doing it, they end up finding their name. You know, it's, things like that could be a lot of fun. That yeah, there could be a, a. There's a missed opportunity there. We should have hidden something in there. We should have made something. Yeah, that could have been fun. Um, but every puzzle having you know the child's name could be a, a fun thing to do. It could be. It's a great idea. Options. So th this is our first experience with Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing is what it's called, KDP. Yep. And uh, these are available and live for sale now. Yeah. In, in fact, I'll probably put a form. link to them on the, the video. That would back. be perfect. Right. You can find us on Amazon by looking for the 4031 family. Uh, or you can type in searching the word and the book 
that you're looking for, Genesis, Genesis Leviticus, Genesis. whatever, um, and we should eventually show up on the word list, the search list. Um, but again, there should be, I'll put a link in this video. Yeah. Um, to if, the series. Yeah, to the series so that you can buy it, get it. And please just leave us a, a review on the, the books when you find them, an honest review. Um, we welcome your feedback. Um, of different things we can change up with them, uh, whether it's just making it um, easier puzzles, smaller grids, fewer words to find, um, things like that to make them, you know, potentially a kid's version. It'd be all the same text. Um, that won't change. It'll just be about what words you're looking for. Um, if there are other puzzle books you all might be interested in, I've got this great programmer dude who uh, could potentially <laughs> find other one. puzzles that we can make and put together. Um, let us know. We would be interested in uh, seeing if we can meet your requests. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk. Hey, there's something we haven't done in a long time. So I'm Tammy. <laughs> I'm Seth. He's God. And we're not. We're not. Have a good one.